I need to paint my nails. It only takes a few minutes to dry, but I thought I would share with you a story that happened to me this week when I was running errands and it's about decluttering one item and one item that I struggled with a lot and I'm still doing some deep breathing about and I wanted to share it with you because it was a difficult declutter. The item that I'm talking about, I'm gonna need to paint my nails at the same time. We're gonna have to multitask while I tell you this story. My son, I have three kids, ages nine, almost eight, and six. And my youngest is outgrowing his clothes quite quickly. And they were mostly hand lay downs from his older brother. And we have a fall coat that I made him wear this past fall that was definitely too small for him then, but I pushed it just one last season because he doesn't really wear coats very much. And I figured we can make it work one last season. It is assuredly too small for him now. There is no way he will rock that coat ever again. So I put it in the declutter box and I knew exactly where I was gonna donate it to. Don I donated it to a rack in our library, our local library keeps coat racks for anybody that needs a coat throughout the season. And I knew exactly where I was gonna take it. You just put it on a coat hanger, on the rack, done. I just did another deep breath. <laughs> so I did that. I walked in, saw the coat rack, hung up the coat, easy peasy. I couldn't walk away. I could not walk away from his coat. I literally stood there for almost two minutes before I was like, you need to leave. You need to leave the library before people start asking you questions. Walked out to the car and just, I released a cry. It's okay to cry when you declutter and still let go of things. It's an emotional processing point when you let go of something. And I was letting go of a coat that I knew was too small that in my mind, I had made the decision months ago to let go of it, but actually physically letting it go out of my home and out of my life was a different feeling. And it was hard. And the way that I got through it and was able to walk away in those two minutes of processing, standing there staring at my son's coat on the rack, was to name what was actually hard. It wasn't hard to let go of the physical item because I knew it was gonna go to someone else that needed it, that needed a coat. What was hard was letting go of that piece of my kids' lives. I would not have any children small enough to wear that coat anymore. And we'd gone through a lot of hand-me-downs and this was the last fall coat to let go of for my youngest child. And the thing that I was letting go of was the fact that my kids are growing up. Well, really it wasn't letting go, it was accepting. I was accepting the speed at which my children are growing up. And that was the moment that it culminated for me. And that was the, that was the thing that was hard for me to wrap my emotions around and naming the thing that was hard, giving a voice to the feeling that I was having, I hope I didn't just roll my nails, giving a voice to the, to the feeling that I was having in that moment is the thing that got me through it. Oh, it's not the coat, Erica. It's that Jackie is now six and doesn't fit into this coat anymore. And that your oldest is nine and going through a totally different set of childhood that we've not experienced as parents before. So it was that moment that it all sort of came together emotionally for me and naming the thing that was hard about the naming the feeling, putting a voice to the feeling is what got me through it and what got me to walk away and be okay. And when I got in the car, yes, I cried. I'm going to paint my nails at the same time. Yes, I, I cried. I let it all out. And the thing that I was crying about was parenthood and motherhood and the speed at which things are happening for us sometimes where in a blink of an eye, my baby is six. And that is the thing that I was attached to with the coat. It wasn't the coat itself. The coat was a symbol. The coat needed to go to another little boy that needs a coat this winter. And in my head, I knew that. In my heart, I knew that. But separating the thing that I was actually struggling with from the decision to let go of an item, to clutter the item, 
is what got me through it. And that I tell you comes from years of doing this. There is no way I could have separated and compartmentalized those things four years ago. There's no way I could see the forest through the trees, as my mother would say. There's no way I could see the forest through the trees. I had so many items, thousands of things that needed to be decluttered, that there's no way I could have separated those emotions at that time. But now when it comes to letting go of one identified thing, a coat, now I can separate what it actually means and what it feels like and what that feeling really is and name it to get past it. Okay. I hope this was helpful to you if you're struggling letting go of something and you know there's sentimental attachment there's emotional guilt there's financial guilt there's a lot of different guilt and feelings that come up when we declutter and sometimes it's really easy sometimes it's, it, you have a broken dish it needs to go into the trash you have trash on your counter that needs to go into the trash you have toys that the children have outgrown and you're ready to let go of those need to be donated or given away to another family and sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard, and sometimes it hits you out of nowhere. And like it did for me <laughs> this week. Anyway, I usually share videos about simple living, decluttering, and minimalism, and the highs and lows, happy, the happy, the joy of simple living along the way. And after almost four years now, I am sharing mostly about the simplicity side of things. Now that I've decluttered thousands of items, it's a lot easier for me to recognize when I need to simplify, when something feels complicated, what a feeling actually means when I'm letting go of something. This is how it, oh. here's how it comes out. I have these short stubby little nails, don't I? That's this color. I'll try to identify it and leave a link below. Anyway, thank you for sharing part of your day with me today. I'm glad you were here. I hope this helped you. I usually share videos about simple living, decluttering, and minimalism and the journey that it took me to get to here this day, but I took it one day at a time and I'm here to take it one day at a time with you. You can find me here on YouTube or over on my blog at ericalucas.com. Thanks for sharing part of your day with me. Have a great day.